in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a little money play uh, out of the gun bunch in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, uh, my channel is all about Madden 21 tips and tricks. And we post new videos every single day on our YouTube channel. We try to get to about four videos every single day, and we upload one at 2 o'clock Eastern time, 4 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Eastern, and 8 o'clock Eastern time. And we finish that off with a live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you're looking to get better at Madden 21, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And we're going to jump right in. Now, uh, we're actually in the middle of launching our New England Patriots offensive um, ebook, which in my opinion is going to be the best offensive ebook um, for the most balanced uh, offensive ebook that I've ever released. It's the most comprehensive ebook um, as it's going to be over 200 pages long with over um, 10 hours of video footage with breakdowns and film studies and all that stuff. So high, high volume material and came across this gun bunch. This is an effective formation and not very many people are running the New England bunch this year. But I'll tell you what, the New England bunch is not bad at all. It actually has some really, really good plays. And Pat Sale is as good as ever this year, especially with the fact that the um, C route on the right does such a good job against man-to-man -man coverage and the meta that lies within that defense. So we're going to go over this play and show you it against a couple different coverages that you're probably going to see it. Um, and the first coverage we're going to show it against is the... Uh, of course, the man-to-man -man meta, and then we'll work through some zone footage as well. So, as a general rule, when you're running gun bunch, you want the ball to be on the, um, you want the bunch receivers to be on the wide side of the field. Um, it's kind of the same with this. Now, there's several different ways for you to, um, several different ways for you to deal with man-to-man -man coverage from this formation. One of my favorite uh, route concepts within this play is to take my running back and put him on a shoot flat. Most of you probably have backfield master. Now, this offense goes to a whole new level when you have a slot apprentice. So if you have a slot apprentice, I would recommend putting him at Scotty Miller's position. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to put Godwin on a little hitch, and we're going to motion out the C route and snap it right about here. And what you'll notice is this C route is going to beat man-to-man -man coverage very, very easily. Now, the cool part about this is it's going not only to beat man-to-man -man coverage um, easily, it's going to beat meta man-to-man -man coverage very easily. So if I put purple zones out here, you'll notice that because of Gronkowski's flat route, it's going to pull the zones outside, and we're going to be able to hit uh, Scotty Miller right in this little pocket right there for the nice low ball and we're going to possession catch that and move, continue to move the ball up and down the field. The other thing that I like about this play is there is a play that they, or a route that they absolutely have to use her on this play. They cannot let, it, there's no zone in the game that's going to stop this. And it's this post right on the left side. Uh, again, what we're going to do with that simple setup with that hitch, uh, and then we have that C route, we have that flat route. If you don't have the ability to put a flat route out there, just put him on a wheel route. That'll work just fine as well. But what you'll notice is when this post route comes over the middle, it just gets such good separation over the middle. I can't quite put my finger on why. Obviously, post routes are really, really good against man-to-man, -man, but this post route is special against man-to-man. -man. It, it consistently, every single Madden um, just does a great job. It doesn't matter what year of Madden you play, you'll find that this route is one of the most effective routes in the game every single year. And when you're running bunch, to be able to have a power route to that left side is really, really critical for the bunch to be successful because if you have a couple of single power routes, then you can kind of use whatever you really want on the other side. Um, now, this, this route to Chris Godwin, I do want to talk about this. This is really important that you understand when you're throwing hitch routes, you want to make sure that you are low ball, but you've got to make sure that you pass lead this route to the inside. Right there is where you want to throw it. And you want to throw it quick and you want to throw it hot. If they are in some kind of man blitz or something like that and they're not paying attention to that slot, you'll throw this route all day long. This route will beat every man coverage. That's two men under press coverage shaded underneath. So, you know, if, obviously if they shade over top, um, it, you know, if they're running the man-to-man -man meta coverages and they shade over top, this thing is going to be even more open and it's going to get even better separation. So this route is still very effective. So that's one way that you can run this very um, effective play, in my opinion. Another way that you can run it is by taking Chris Godwin and putting him on a slant route. 
and then you basically can kind of mess around with him and do really whatever you want. You'll notice that this slant route is going to come right underneath the post route. So if they're running any, um, if they're running any flat zones or curl flat zones, by having that running back on that little shoot flat or that little underneath um, or even a wheel route, it's going to pull those outside zones, and it's going to allow. Uh, Chris Godwin to get separation to the inside. I actually am really starting to become very fond of slant routes this year. I wasn't really fond of them in the beginning of the year, and they're kind of growing on me. Another thing that I like to do, ironically, is a double slant. And I know you might laugh at me for double slanting, but I actually really like this read. Um, if you just all, literally all you're going to do is you're going to motion, um, you're going to you're going to double slant, and then you're going to motion Scotty Miller out and make sure he's in motion when he snaps. And you'll notice that this thing will just torch man. I mean, this this little concept right here is very effective. Okay, so you have that opportunity as well. Another thing that you can do with this play is you can actually turn it into a max protect play. And all you got to do is max protect, and then I'm just going to take Scotty Miller and I'm going to put him on a slant, or I'm going to put him on a drag. And you're going to motion drag him, motion snap the drag so that he beats man man coverage. So what you'll see right here is if you Basically, if you miss a read or if they have over the top, um, essentially if they use or if they use or the post route, then you're just going to check down to the drag. Um, that drag, because it's motioned, will get underneath pretty much every zone. The other thing that's really nice is you can see here, you can throw this post route in multiple windows. It's not just a post route on the left side of the field, but in fact, it actually plays really, really good on the right side of the field. Now, one thing you might need to do to this to kind of help it a little bit against the um, against some coverages is go ahead and take Chris Godwin and just put him on a straight-up streak uh, as opposed to that other zone, or I'm sorry, as opposed to a fade route. I don't know. I go back and forth on whether the streak or the fade route is the most effective way to do that. Uh, I'll let you decide, but you can do both. Both are effective. What I'm trying to show you here, and I obviously got to throw out a sack right there, but if you wait a little bit on this post, you'll see if they're in like a max coverage section, they're going to have to guard the post all the way across the formation. That, to me, is what's very powerful about that route. And then if you have a slot apprentice, let's say they're playing cover three on you, and you have a slot apprentice, you have your slot apprentice at Scotty Miller's position, like I said, or maybe you have a hot route master quarterback, what you'll notice is I'm just going to take Scotty Miller, and I'm going to put him on a corner route, and I'm going to motion him out as well. And this is kind of a universal cover three killer uh, from the gun bunch, but all you're going to do is pass the Chris Godwin's route to the right, and as you can see, it's going to torch cover three uh, right over the top for a one-play touchdown. So within that setup, you know, it's more of a um, it's more of a flood to the right, more of a flood concept to the right side. So what you might do with your running back is instead of putting him on a flat, maybe you put him on a Texas route. And I'm not sure if it actually works with the C route. Let me show you the C route, and we'll just see. Oh, it does work with the C route. That's crazy. Okay, so that works with the C route. That's I didn't know that. Um, I did not think that worked with the C route. I would still put the quarter route out there if you know you're going to go to that setup, but that's actually huge that that can work with a C route because what that's going to mean for your offense is you can kind of run the same look just now you've got a right flood um, but as you can see here it's still going to torch the cover three defense over the top for a one play touchdown so overall this is one of the best plays in Madden every single year and it's no different this year um, I don't see a lot of people running this this um, specific version of the bunch I think primarily just because Carolina offers a little bit more versatility in the routes that you can get. But what you'll be um, you know, pleasantly surprised with with New England, in my opinion, is that their bunch is very good, but everything else is even better. Um, their trips tied in is amazing. Their, um, their U trips, obviously, is very good. Their gun doubles, gun spread, um, those are like kind of just simple formations that work. They have really good under center formations as well, really good running uh, schemes. So I'd highly encourage you to consider uh, taking a look at our New England guide. It's going to be live tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So uh, if you want to receive a link to the guide whenever it goes live, all you got to do is shoot me a text message. Um, my number is 812 216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner. Obviously, if you just have Madden tips or just want to get a hold of me, you can always shoot me a text message. And um, our text message membership video this week will be kind of a sample out of the New England Patriots ebook. We're going to give you a whole formation breakdown. Um, so if you want to join the text message membership, just shoot me a text and let me know you want to receive that as well. 
But uh, other than that, guys, we're going to jump off here. We'll have another video coming here in a couple hours. But thank you so much for watching this video. This has been the New England Patriots Gun Bunch Pats Sale.